Joe Biden has named Marcia Fudge from Ohio to be the HUD secretary. Now, the reason why this is important news for you, for me, for the left, isn't necessarily because I have a strong opinion about Marcia Fudge either way, but because of who might be running to replace her. Reportedly, the individual considering running for Marcia Fudge's old seat is none other than Nina Turner. If this is true, I cannot tell you how big of a deal this would be for the left and progressive movement. A lot of signs and evidence point to this being true, although Nina Turner hasn't confirmed anything yet. However, there's a lot of reasons uh, to believe that this is going to happen. So as Holly Otterbein and Alex Thompson of Politico report, former Ohio State Senator and top Bernie Sanders surrogate Nina Turner is contemplating a run for Representative Marcia Fudge's seat if Joe Biden brings the Ohio member of Congress into his administration, according to two people close to Turner. Reached by phone, Turner was coy. Currently, there is no vacancy in the district, and if it becomes vacant, things will unfold as they should, she said. Pressed on whether she was considered Considering a run, Turner said, well, there's been an outcry for me to at least consider it. You know, I'm a public servant through and through, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. She's not saying much, but her response tells us a lot. Now, on top of that, the author of this article, one of them anyways, uh, tweeted this out. Nina Turner has filed with the FEC for Fudge's seat in Ohio. Reached by phone, she says she has nothing to add. I'm in my 48 hours, she said. But when I reached the campaign treasurer on the FEC form, they said they'd pass along my message, quote, to the campaign. This is happening. This is happening, and I could barely contain my excitement. I feel the way I felt back in, I think it was February of 2019, when Bernie Sanders announced that he was running for president again. This genuinely gives me hope in a way that I haven't felt since that, that time. And this is really important. Nina Turner is someone who wouldn't just be another progressive in Congress, she is a leader of this movement, and she could be the leader of this movement. Now, the reason why her running is important is because she has a really strong shot at winning. First of all, she has access to a lot of Bernie Sanders staffers that would likely very willingly jump on board. Uh, on top of that, all of the infrastructure that Bernie Sanders built up around, you know, grassroots fundraising, all of the donors that Bernie Sanders had would almost certainly support Nina Turner. I know I would. The minute she announces, I'm going to sign up to donate 27 bucks a month to her, as I did with Bernie Sanders. So there's a lot that um, she has going for her to win this seat. I don't know what the primary is going to look like. I can imagine that the Democratic Party establishment may try to, you know, uh, recruit individuals to run against her because they don't want Nina Turner to win. But Nina Turner is Nina Turner. If you're running against her, good luck. Good luck. Um, and... You know, Nina Turner is someone who I think that, as it is now, she's qualified to run for president if she wanted it. But I think this is actually a really important step if she ever wants to seek out the presidency because, one, it'll bolster the experience that she already has. I'm not necessarily worried that the establishment is going to attack her for not being experienced because, you know, as a state senator, you do have a lot of experience. And after so many people in the Democratic Party supported Pete Buttigieg, a mayor, of South Bend, Indiana. I mean, you can't say that he's experienced, but Nina Turner is not. So that's not necessarily what I'm worried about. But what I like is that this gives her the opportunity to kind of pave her own path because right now she's associated with Bernie Sanders. When you think of Nina Turner, you think about Bernie Sanders. And it's important for her to establish her own national profile in this way, right? Because there is a lot of baggage with Bernie Sanders. For whatever reason, a lot of people don't like Bernie Sanders. And part of this is propaganda because of the media and even some individuals who like AOC dislike Bernie Sanders. So if Nina Turner can kind of create a name for herself nationally that's not associated with Bernie Sanders, I think this can help her. Because Bernie Sanders ran for president twice and, you know, he, he lost both times. So that association... I don't necessarily think it would hurt her, but it would help her to kind of create a name for herself that doesn't include Bernie Sanders. Like, we don't want to think of her as a Bernie Sanders surrogate. We want to think of Nina Turner as Nina Turner. And I know that Sanders supporters do. Myself, I think of her as the leader of this movement. But 
we need America to see her as a leader. And if they saw her in Congress, saw the things that she could accomplish, the things that she'd be able to do, that would really help her chances if she wanted to run for president. But whatever she wants to do, I'm on board with it. I support whatever she wants. She wants to run for Congress. I'm there. If she wants to run for president in 2024, I'm there too. Um, I think that Nina Turner is someone who is so unique and so special to this movement that what she does could literally determine the future of the leftist movement, the progressive movement in America. That's how meaningful her presence is. Um, so this, honestly, this news made my day. I know it made your day too, probably when you heard this, but when I when I actually saw this, I thought, oh my God, this is actually a reason to be hopeful because part of the reason why I was so depressed after Bernie Sanders dropped out was because, I mean, who else is going to take his place? Bernie Sanders, he's not young. And I don't know who wants to step up. I mean, we have AOC potentially wanting to run for president maybe in the future, uh, but would she actually want to do that? Uh, she's not going to be old enough, I don't think, by 2024. We need, like, a lot of folks who would be interested in running. And the person who keeps coming up in my mind to continue on Bernie Sanders' legacy and be the new leader of this movement is Nina Turner. Like, any time I try to put someone else in that place, it doesn't fit properly because she's the one. She's always been the one. So this news is encouraging to me because it's not just about this one seat, Marcia Fudge's old seat. This is about the long-term health and, you know, um, relevance, quite frankly, of the progressive left in America. And if she is able to win this, which I think she'd have a great chance at it, we'd be really, um, we'd be on a good path going forward. So I, I'm over the moon about this news. Of course, it's not official yet, and I don't want to step on her toes by, like, talking about this when she hasn't even announced but there's a lot of evidence and a lot of talk around her. And just the fact that there's so much, this much um, noise around her possibly running, it kind of shows you that people know that this individual is a powerhouse, right? Nina Turner running for Congress. I mean, who is going to want to run against her? That's just, <laughs> you're going to get decimated. Um, you know, so for someone to step up and run for Congress... If anyone needed to be there, it would be someone like Nina Turner, who we need as a fighter. But again, it's not just about her role in Congress. This is about the future and where she's going to go. And when it comes to Nina Turner, sky is the limit, honestly. So um, I'm thrilled. I'll, you know, reserve my excitement until she actually makes it official and announces because I, I feel like I don't want to get my hopes up and this isn't real. You know, she, maybe she's making the moves, but ultimately changes her mind. But if she wants to run, she has my absolute full support. I think that that goes without saying. I think everyone would support Nina Turner, who supported Bernie Sanders. So, yeah, Nina Turner might run for Congress or will very likely run for Congress. Yeah, I like that.